My name is Yvette Rosario, Senior Registrar at Lehman College. I would like to welcome you to the Office of the Registrar's tutorial on non-passing grades. We will provide general definitions as well as the impacts these grades have on a student's academic record. Some of these grades may or may not be available on the final grade roster, which are made available in CUNY First in week 15 of each fall and spring term. We encourage you to check your Lehman College email for communication sent via the faculty listserv regarding roster deadlines. Let me begin on how to access your rosters in CUNY First. After logging into CUNY First and clicking on HR backslash campus solutions, you first click on self-service, then faculty center, and select gray roster to view all your rosters. If you are teaching at more than one institution or taught previously at another institution, click the change term button and select the term associated with the institution to view your rosters. Let us begin by reviewing the definitions of non-passing grades which may be assigned to students. We will also discuss the impact these grades have on a student's academic record. The first grade is the W grade. The grade of W indicates a student has officially withdrawn from a course during the withdrawal period. The withdrawal period is indicated on the academic calendar for every term and session and can be found on the Office of the Registrar's website. It is important to note that a grade of W is not available to select on the final grade roster. In addition, this grade cannot be changed via the grade roster. The grade of W is a grade that can be initiated by students. Students can withdraw from a section via CUNY First during the stated withdrawal period. And lastly, the grade of W does not impact the student's cumulative GPA. The grade of WN is only assigned if a student is marked absent on the Certification of Attendance roster or known as the COA roster. An email regarding the COA roster is sent via the faculty listserv during the second week of classes with instructions on how to submit these rosters in CUNY First. The grade of WN does not impact the student's GPA. However, the student may have a financial obligation. It is important to note, students who receive this grade immediately lose access to Blackboard. The WN grade does not print on the student's official transcript. And lastly, similar to the W grade, the WN grade is not available to select in the final grade roster in CUNY First. The grade of WD is assigned automatically to a student who drops a class during the second and third week of classes in CUNY First. This deadline is posted on the academic calendar on the Office of the Registrar's website. The W and WD grades are considered official withdrawal grades and therefore initiated by the student in CUNY First. What many people may not know about the WD grade is, this grade is used for financial aid purposes to calculate aid. And lastly, the WD grade does not print on the student's official transcript. The grade of WU has specific conditions in which a student is assigned this grade. The first condition is the student must have attended class at least once but completely stop attending before final exam week. The second condition is, the student did not officially withdraw during the withdrawal period in CUNY First. In other words, has a grade of W. If these two conditions are not met, a WU grade may not be the appropriate grade to assign, and we recommend you contact your respective department for guidance on the appropriate grade. And lastly, 
the WU grade has an impact on the student's academic and financial record. This grade is weighted as an F grade on the student's cumulative GPA. It is important to note that although the WU grade impacts the student's GPA as if they earned an F, the WU grade is not an F grade. An incomplete grade, or an INC, is assigned to students when course requirements have not been completed for good and sufficient reasons. An INC grade can be assigned when there is reasonable expectation that a student can successfully complete the requirements of a course no later than the last day of the following semester. It can also be assigned when a student has been absent from the final exam and a makeup exam is scheduled no later than the last day of the following semester. It's important to note an INC grade has no impact on the student's current cumulative GPA. However, if the INC grade laps to an FIN grade, it will have a negative impact on the student's cumulative GPA. Next is the FIN grade. The grade of FIN, as stated earlier, is the result of the failure of a student to resolve an INC grade by completing the required coursework by the stated deadline. The FIN grade is calculated as an F grade and will have a negative impact on the student's cumulative GPA. Finally, the NC grade. The grade of NC is given when a student has completed a course but has not earned a minimum grade of C. There are approved courses for which the NC grade is an option to select on the final grade roster in CUNY first. Examples of these courses are in the foreign languages and English composition courses. Since DNF grades cannot be assigned in these courses, the student receives a non-impact grade of NC. We hope that you find the information we have provided throughout this presentation useful. Additional information for faculty can be found by following the link provided. This video is available on Lehman Connect and a link is available on the Office of the Registrar's website. Thank you.